So you're thinking about making a move to Fallbrook, California. Well, you're probably gonna wanna know what there is to do. Is there even anything good to eat there? Where is Fallbrook? What are the schools like? And how much does it cost to buy a home? I'm gonna go over all that and a little bit more just to give you a better idea of what it's actually like to call Fallbrook home. And we'll do a couple things like I always do, but I'll walk you through on the Google Maps, show you some of the sights and sounds, then we'll look at some of the census data, and then we'll go take a look at some of the real estate to give you an idea of what the home prices are. So let's go ahead and get after it now. Welcome back. If this is your first time here and you'd like to know more about San Diego real estate or life here in San Diego or Fallbrook, make sure you tap that subscribe button below. My name is Nick and you guys reach out all the time and I absolutely love helping you out. So if you're thinking about making a move here in a week, a month, a year, make sure you shoot us a text, shoot us an email or just straight up give us a call so we can help you save a lot of time and just help you make a smooth move here to San Diego. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna talk all about Fallbrook in this video. And if you haven't seen my vlog on Fallbrook or some of the other surrounding cities, make sure you check that out because that, those are all gonna be very helpful in your search of moving somewhere in San Diego. Maybe you live here now or maybe you're uh, relocating from a different state or maybe even a different country. So you're more than welcome because Fallbrook is definitely a really cool city here. It's gonna be a little bit more quiet. It's gonna be a little bit more laid back, but you're going to have some great outdoor activities. You're gonna have some really good food and restaurant options out there. And you're also going to have some beautiful, really beautiful homes, depending on what your budget is and what your needs are. So we're gonna get after all that. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer now. All right, so welcome to the trusty Google Maps. As you can see, I have Fallbrook pulled up right here. But before I wanna dive into that, I wanna show you some of the proximities because it's one of the, something you should definitely know, but it's one of the furthest, furthest towns in all of North County San Diego away from downtown San Diego. So downtown San Diego and the airport's gonna be located right about there. Fallbrook's gonna be located up here. And as you hit Temecula and start to head north, that's gonna be Riverside County. And then anything San Clemente in north is now gonna be Orange County heading into Los Angeles County. So, and I wanna show you guys for scale that if you're, if you're gonna be flying out or you have to commute to downtown San Diego, you know, a few times a month, you need to know how long it's gonna to take to get to the airport. And right now I'm gonna guess and say it's gonna take about an hour and there's no traffic right now. So let me look this up. So there you have it. It's gonna take you about an hour and two minutes. That's with no traffic and it's about a 60 mile drive. So with traffic, you can probably expect an hour 15, hour 30, maybe a little bit more. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about moving to Fallbrook. Now let's dive into Fallbrook so I can actually show you what it's all about because it's a great city. And if you haven't seen my vlog, make sure you check it out because we go to the downtown area. I show you a very cool winery and we go look at some real estate, which is always fun. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be very helpful in your search. And here's Fallbrook. And I don't know why it's only showing this area, but this is actually all considered Fallbrook as well. So even, even this little area over here, this is all Fallbrook. So I'm not sure why it's not populating with that line, but if you live anywhere over here, it's all going to be a Fallbrook address. So just keep that in mind. And you're going to have the interstate 76, and then you're going to have the 15, which is going to run north and south. So that'll take you all the way to downtown San Diego. And the 76 will take you all the way to the ocean, which is going to be at Oceanside. That can be about a, about a 25 minute drive from Fallbrook. So you're not far from the ocean, which is great. Keeps the temperatures very moderate here. And the population in Fallbrook is about 33,000 people. So it's a very small town. It's very spread out, as you guys will see in a second here. And one more thing I want to let you guys know is if you're going to be commuting and have to drive out of Fallbrook very often, you might want to look at places on the eastern and south side of Fallbrook. So I know my map's looking a little weird, but in this zone right here, this is might be where you want to look because it's going to shave off 15, 20 minutes just to get to the 15 or the 70, uh, 76 sometimes. So keep that in mind. Obviously, I'm not going to take time to talk about everything there. That would take me a long time, but I want to show you the highlights and the things you're going to want to know if you're actually considering a move here. Now, first off, the nature here is awesome because it's a very rural area. There's a ton of residential and a ton of hills and scenic areas. And really all your shopping, which I'll touch base on right now, is all going to be really in this zone, pretty much all in this zone right here. So if you live over here off of Live Oak, you're going to have to take the drive into town. And it's funny because I don't get to say that on a lot of my map tours that I do. 
like the shopping pause is usually about five, 10 minutes from your house, depending on where you live in North County. But here you can expect to take a little bit more of a drive if you wanna go to the grocery store, go get some beers, whatever the heck you wanna do. But it's all gonna be right here. Your Albertsons, you're gonna have a CVS, you're going to have markets, you're gonna have all that stuff. And it's really all gonna be just in this zone right here. Now the food here is phenomenal in Fallbrook and I take drives up here pretty often just to go get some food because things are just different up here. It's a different vibe and it has that country feel to it. Now a couple places right here, this is where I go check out in my vlog. I go to the downtown area right here where you're gonna have just coffee shops. You're gonna have some historic things to look at, buildings, you're gonna have some salons, retail. You're gonna have all that stuff right here. And also, I wanna highlight a couple of the food places because up here, just to the northeast, you're going to have the mill, which is great. It's an old converted barn, and it actually has some little pop-up shops now and then, and it has some beer, some local beer, Booze Brothers, and it also has a pizza shop in there. So really good pizza and things like that. And then just down over here, you're going to have the coal bunker, which is great burgers, fried chicken sandwich, loaded, mac and cheese they have all that stuff and 127 west social house so you're going to have a lot of things to go eat and check out that are going to be new to you i mean even if you've lived there for five years you probably maybe you haven't been to some of these places so make sure you check those out and i wanted to show you a place over here because there is a ton of wineries and vineyards out here because it's very rural like i said so over here the vineyard if it's if christmas is coming up or Halloween's coming up, you can go get pumpkins there, you can go get a Christmas tree, and it's a vineyard too, so you can have some wine. So really cool spot to check out. And right over here, I wanna touch base on the schools. I'll talk more about it in a second, but you're going to have about 13 public schools in Fall Fallbrook, and you're also going to have about seven private schools. So you have a little bit of both, which is great. You have an elementary school over here, and you also have the high school, which is gonna be located right, kind of right in the middle. Now back to the nature, I wanna say there is a ton of parks over here. There's a lot of nature preserves if you wanna go walk the dog, if you wanna just get outside, especially after a long day of work. And over here, the Santa Margarita Preserve over here, there's some great hiking and trails back here. And sometimes when this river is has enough water in it and it's clean, I mean, I've, I've taken a dip in there on a really hot day. So some cool things to check out for my nature lovers and people that want the scenery and all that stuff and keep in mind like i said this is going to be very rural over here and it's going to be very rural in parts like this and in the south down here so if you want something on acreage or you want something on a smaller lot you're really going to have the choice here in fallbrook which is great and then here's one of the preserves right here i was talking about and also casa estrella is a really good mexican restaurant and this place pops off on the weekends make sure you check this place out because it's got some really good mexican food you also have a couple golf courses. You have about three in Fallbrook as well if you're a golfer. And over here, you have Monastrate Winery, which I shared with you guys in my vlog as well. This is a really cool place if you want to get some food or you want to get some wine. You're going to have one more little shopping center down here, which is almost in Bonzel, which is going to be your neighbor right down below right here. And then you also have some really, really high-end homes, beautiful homes in a gated community, 24-7 gate guard. And these homes back here are gorgeous and they can they'll really cost you anywhere from about a million and a half all the way up to three four million dollars but gorgeous homes if you're looking for something nice or like that but nonetheless we'll talk a little bit about the real estate in a second here but now that i give you guys a feel for fallbrook the shopping how it's spread out and how there is really there's a ton of great food and things to do you know it's a very laid back vibe here so kind of expect that when you're looking to move to Fallbrook. Now let's look at some of the census data. All right, so now I'm on niche.com right here. This is one of my favorite websites to look at. Just some of the census data, get a vibe for what's going on for a certain area or city. Another one that's great is greatschools.org. If you're a parent and you need to find more, more out about schools, that's places where I always send my clients. So make sure you check those out. But here we are. I have Fallbrook pulled up on niche.com. And right here, you can see that their overall grade is they get a C plus. They take a lot of things into consideration. Now, C+, plus, I mean, personally, I would probably give Fallbrook more of a B. I mean, I've sold quite a few homes in there. I've helped clients in there. And I, I mean, I love Fallbrook. It's a really cool place, but it takes a certain type of person to live there because it's a lot more rural than what you might be familiar with when you're looking in other cities in San Diego. I'm gonna go down, you can see some of this. I wanna show you just some of the key factors 
their their real estate data is always off. Don't look at that. But one thing I like to look at is the rent versus own in certain communities. And you can see right here, it's about 40% owners and 60% owners, which is a great ratio. I mean, that's usually what I see here in San Diego. Some uh, areas actually have 70, 30, it might be 80, 20. So it really depends, but I like to see more owners than renters in a specific area. So this one's pretty good. And as we go down, we'll go hit the, the crime. It doesn't even have a rating, but this is another one I want to touch base on because a lot of you guys, whether you're retiring or maybe you're a younger professional, you're starting a family, whatever it is, you're always curious on, am I going to be able to meet people there? What's the, what's the age demographic? So I really like niche.com for this. Their diversity in Fallbrook gets an A, which I completely agree with because you can see right here, there's about 25% of the population in Fallbrook is aged 25 to 44. So those are younger professionals. Those are people with families and things like that. So you'll, you'll be able to meet people your age. And then as we get to, let's go 55 to 55 plus pretty much you have about 20, I think that's about 23 to 22% is going to be older retired people. So it's a very good mix of age groups, which is, which is very nice overall. And then we'll go to the median household income is about 70,000. So it's a lot lower than some of the other surrounding cities. So it looks like all, a lot of their schools are rated an A. We got an A minus, we got another A minus, A minus, B plus. So overall their rating for schools was a B minus. So not too shabby, but now let's look at some of the real estate. So the housing market over here in Fallbrook is going to be a little bit more affordable than a lot of the other areas in San Diego. And it's because there's just a little bit less of a demand out there because I mean, everything's more spread out than a lot of the other areas. And it's gonna take you a little bit longer to get to the grocery store. Maybe if you have to work outside of Fallbrook, it's gonna be a longer commute. So these things, you know, they bring down the sales price, which is honestly could be a very good thing depending on what you're looking for. Now, the median sale price here is about seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is which is actually really good because eight hundred and fifty thousand is a median sale price in San Diego County. So it sits right below that. And I wanna show you guys the median days on market is going to be about sixty-five days at the moment. And that's up about 53 days from a year ago. So that's huge. And it just makes sense because our market is finally starting to find a happy place and stabilize because things were selling in less than a week back in a year ago today. So keep that in mind. And if you're shopping right now and these rates are throwing you off, don't overthink it. Literally, this is a very good time to get the seller to buy down your rate, to pay for your closing costs. I mean, there's some great negotiability that can happen right now. Now, one other thing I want to show you, which I'll show you the total homes for sale at the moment, but the homes sold in October of last year were about 34 homes. So not a whole lot. And it's just because we don't have a ton of inventory. Next thing I want to show you is there's about between condos and single family homes, there's about 138 homes listed at the moment, still pretty low. And I want to show you what some of these look like, because you're going to have so many different types of homes. I mean, you have some beautiful estates out there. You have some smaller townhomes. You have some really charming, small, single family homes. So I just want to show you, and the price ranges will jump anywhere from 500,000 all the way up to about $7 million. So you have one for 2.2 right here, 650, 7 million, another one for six and a half million. So, you know, the prices are going to jump around. Some of them with these big tickets, like this one looks like an avocado grove or something agriculture agricultural so you're going to have a lot of income producing properties like that out there we got one for 980 850 some land newer construction right here for 625 so you have a ton of options and that is one of the beauties about fallbrook so now hopefully you got a better idea of what it's actually like to call fallbrook home you got a good idea of the restaurants things to do outdoor activities, a little bit of the real estate, and even some of the census data when it comes to schools and the diversity within age groups. So hopefully that was all really helpful information and it was able to give you a better idea of what to expect if you're considering a move here to Fallbrook. So like I always say, if you're thinking about move, making a move here to Fallbrook or one of the surrounding areas, make sure you shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can just help dial things down and make it a lot smoother for you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video.